there's a lot of uh, cognitive intervention treatments in the last 10, 20 years, and actually more and more uh, is coming out. Every time when I do a literature search, I see more and more uh, intervention, which is wonderful. Still, uh, treatment is divided uh, more into restorative uh, type of treatment, where people do different type of exercises uh, related to, for example, memory, executive functions, processing speed, and this uh, type of um, training is repetitive and hierarchical in order. And there is a strategy-based training, which is the other type of approach in cognitive rehabilitation, and we see increase in both. So um, actually, evidence we have more and more evidence to support cognitive rehabilitation for persons with MS, which is great, and we see very positive results. One thing that we less see in this research is generalization of this treatment to everyday life. Because a person can show a wonderful uh, improvement in cognition. However, my question is always, does it translate into everyday life activities? The fact that a person remember, instead of seven words in a list, 10 words, does it affect their daily life? Does it matter at all? So I think research should uh, emphasize everyday life activities and we see it more but this needs to really be addressed more and more. Another thing that I think is very important to see whether this treatment has a lasting effect and we have studies that definitely do a more lo longitudinal uh, type of studies where uh, we see it immediate effect and then few months later they follow up but more research uh, should um, administer the long-term effect uh, type of outcomes. So uh, some recent advances are um, there is a speed of processing uh, training. We showed uh, very promising uh, results in patients with MS, uh, definitely in terms of processing speed. We measured also in this um, uh, everyday life generalization, and, but it showed really partial support for death, not a, a main effect. And therefore, I believe that the next generation of uh, cognitive training should combine strategy training that gear toward everyday life activities together with the restorative approach. So it should be like almost like a synchronized type of approach for cognitive training. Uh, another thing that we see recently is also like a combination between cognitive training and exercise training to see whether again there is a synchronized uh, effect of these two type of uh, approaches. And just now, I didn't publish it yet because I just finished it, is the study that I took uh, a memory strategy that called the self-gen, self-generation, and I administered only by Zoom. So actually, I saw I had a, a very small sample because I did it, it's a pilot intervention. But the nice thing about it, that I didn't have to see patients only from New York and New Jersey area, but I saw people from Seattle, from... Um, from Maryland, which are totally not close to me. This was the fun part about it. So my reach was a bit larger. And uh, within that I did, a, a, it was a strategy-based intervention where I taught people to remember better by using association and meaningful things uh, to them and a more context approach to memory. And this, uh, I really show that uh, the results are very promising because we have improvement in memory and also in activities of daily living, which is kind of the generalization of the treatment.